how we can make our parents understand that uh, whatever things we are doing and we are just now we are in this modern age so we have the different uh, thinking uh, about everything like if i'll talk about marriage uh, like profession and any kind of technology so they have the different perspective about everything how are you doing i'm doing great very good afternoon are you yes i'm pretty well thank you for asking okay since we are meeting for the first time so would you like to give your short introduction sure well my name is amandeep singh rai and i belong to rajasthan alwar so i have completed my graduation in english literature so mm -hmm. yeah that's all about me okay and currently what are you doing i'm doing nothing i'm just preparing for um, ielts exam okay okay got it so would you like my introduction to yeah sure okay so my name is tanuja and i'm from bhopal city and if i'll talk about my education so i have done uh, engineering and currently i'm a working professional in one of the it company and simultaneously i'm running my youtube too yeah that's all about me that's great <clears throat> Okay, so after this IEL exam, uh, do you have any further plan like what you have to do in your future? Um, I'm just preparing for IELTS to improve my English language, and I just want to gain my confidence um in the communication base. If mm -hmm. I talk about my further plan, I want to do master in English literature. Okay, yeah, yeah got it. and uh, like when did you started learning this language i don't remember exactly when i had completed my 12th class so somehow i had started because i was thinking that i have to learn english language but on that time i was not that much uh, serious about it i was taking it just for just fun for and fun. enjoying it with my bunch of friends mm -hmm. yeah okay. okay so now are you yeah i'm learning english language Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I was saying that um, I'm learning this language just for fun. Uh, I really love to speak. I really like to talk in English language with people. So that's why. Okay, okay. Yeah. So that's nice that you are enjoying this journey because when we have pressure like yes, we have to learn this language for particular purpose and like this. So we sometimes get bored. Like uh, why I'm learning and uh, like this. But when you are enjoying the process, like you are. uh doing so many stuff but you are enjoying this thing so that is a uh, good thing actually yeah okay so would you like to discuss any random things or uh, want to discuss any topic yeah if you have any kind of topic so we can go for that otherwise we can uh, run the random conversation it's okay for me Okay, so I have an uh, sorry two topics, so you can select. Uh, like uh, we can discuss on this uh, sports, like Olympic sports are going on, and the other one is generation gap. So which one would you prefer? Well, first of all, you have to explain me uh, both of the topics. What should we talk about, and which topic will be the informational for us? You have to leave the topic, and then we will and this we can discuss about that. <clears throat> yeah, so we have to just put our point of view and uh, the knowledge that you have uh, on this Olympic sports that uh, that is happening uh, uh, in Paris, I guess. Yeah. So we can discuss yeah. on like uh, who won the uh, like different sports and why sports are important for our country like this. And if I'll talk about the generation gap, so we all know that, uh, for example, our parents or grandparents and. Uh, we are like uh, son and daughter so we have uh, like generation gap this kind of generation gap in uh, like uh, in our thinking uh, like like in some different ways also like their thinking ability is quite different from us so like this so we can discuss uh, like in the simple way what do you think yeah sure we can go for the generation gap uh, i also felt the same thing because i'm living in a small town um there is also happening certain kind of activities those people who are young and they are just jumping in the mature age and they are just thinking totally different than mm -hmm. their grandparents and 
and their parents because they feel like we are jumping in the modern area and uh, mentality and the mindset has grown up in that different scenario i don't like that thing because we have to understand that how people you play the past time like uh, in the history we used to respect our uh, elders but now the situation is changing day by day so mm-hmm. people are being modern and they think like it's it's being part of our society so they are fa- following so called trend i guess yes but in some point of view like our parents and grandparents are uh, like they are thinking it's uh, quite good i would say but yeah we have to embrace the changes uh, that we uh, that are happening uh, like we are now living in the modern world i can say modernizing so but somehow it uh, happens because of this generation gap we face so many difficulties also like uh, some things our parents don't respect for example if i'll talk about uh, the kind of profession that we choose so somehow uh, our parents have seen the different things so they will uh, tell you that yes you should uh, pursue this graduation and you have to become like doctor and an engineer like this uh, sometimes they say but our perspective is uh, like sometimes some people want to do go in the fashion designing side in the uh, like in mod uh, like in modeling career like this so this kind of uh, things are happening because of this kind of generation gap so what do you think that how we can uh, bridge the gap uh, firstly i want to add one more thing to which i really feel you know what in our area like in our is mostly people what they think if they are uh, choosing any kind of profession and they feel like that their parents are not supporting but i don't think so they choose their profession from the social media they are watching certain kind of reels on the social media and then they are making their decisions what what they have to do if i give my own example i have few friends they they have taken the decision from watching the instagram reels their people were just using their money in the crypto or somewhere in the mm-hmm. trading and they were like i want to be investor and i want to invest uh, in certain kind of application or something like that but i was like bro if you have a completely knowledge about it or you are interested about it so then you can go for that otherwise it is really waste of money for you and a waste of time as well so you have to think about that what you really want to do in your life so that is my um, question in today's time what youngster think like that their parents uh, doesn't um, uh, like allow them to choose their profession but that's not like that because their parents also want to see their kid uh, to to do something good they don't want to see their kid in, uh, in the poor conditions so that's why they feel like first of all they have to take the decision maturely and uh, handle the situation uh, with the maturity so that might be the reason our parents uh, doesn't allow us that we are changing our uh, profession as like a season so first of all we have to be mature we have to take the season um, by maturity then we can judge our parents if then they are not uh, allowing us to choose their profession according to others so then we can say otherwise i don't think so there is any any objection we can just take on our parents that they are not giving us freedom to take the to take the profession what we want to do yes yes i totally agree that you said that our parents want to see uh, uh, want to see their uh, children in the settled career but nowadays people as you mentioned that most of the people just uh, prefer to select the uh, select their profession according to the other people like uh, uh, like this person is doing this thing so i want to do the same thing and now uh, like because of this social media most of the people are just uh, doing this kind of uh, what can i say the uh, videos and uh, <laughs> like youtuber and uh, they are making reels and all so they are choosing like this because they are watching other people but i would say that because of this advancement technology advancement we are just uh, changing ourselves according to the uh, era like uh, modern era so yeah this uh, this is the case i would say but like how we can make our parents understand that uh, whatever things we are doing and we are just now we are in this modern age so we have the different uh, thinking uh, about everything like if i'll talk about marriage uh, like profession and any kind of technology 
so they have the different perspective about everything so what do you think how we can make them understand each and everything mm -hmm. well if we talk about um, urban area where people taking it normal because completely we can see like their parents the gap between their parents and their kid it's like quite understandable they they make the understanding uh, together but if we talk about in the rural areas mostly in villages parents want to see result first what their kid is doing and then they will believe on their kid otherwise i don't think so uh, they can uh, like believe blindly because in the villages the situation is completely different still we can say we are being in a modern era but not that much villages are also um, having certain kind of problems insecurity people want to see some kind of uh, improvement then they will trust at you so first of all we have to uh, show them yeah we, whatever we are doing it's really great it will give me some kind of feedback and it is helping me to uh, meet my future then our parents automatically trust that us like whatever we are doing and they can show certain kind of um, beliefs on lives on their kid if i give my own example you know what when i was preparing for any kind of exam when i had completed my 12th class so i went for a competitive exam it was indian air force on that time i was like i'm going to crack this exam and my parents were like yeah you are quite brilliant and you can crack this exam but unfortunately uh, due to certain reasons i didn't qualify that exam and my parents were like we believed at you and you had broken it and now so you are going to do it uh, like as before we were trusting at you so once if we are breaking our parents believe so i don't think so they can maintain the generation gap between us so first of all we have to show certain kind of uh, improvement whatever we are doing if we are working in, in any kind of field so we have to show some kind of positive signs so then it will be quite comfortable we can uh, remove the gap between our parents or grandparents yes yes i think we should uh, do uh, we should do open communication with our parents and we should also try to make them understand that what is the meaning of this kind of changes and the, now uh, like some of the parents don't allow uh, this love marriage also because of this generation gap i would say because they say like in our family no one has done this thing uh, before and uh, Uh, we can't we can't support this kind of marriage also so they have this kind of uh, mindset because they lived life according to their uh, according to the previous era uh, we can say so they are not supporting this kind of thing so i think we should make them understand the uh, like what things makes you uh, feel comfortable and that is good for you so we should go for that and we should try to embrace the changes also according to this era i would say because we can't sit at in the single uh, like the same place every time we have to come out from the like the comfort zone i would say uh, so we can do like this mm -hmm. you know what if i talk about to, to make conversation with our parents so mostly if i give the example from the boys side we can make conversation with our mom but it is totally difficult to make conversation with dad because yes. if whenever we are going to talk to dad so he is like bab mat ban so i don't know <laughs> like how to make conversation uh, with father i was also trying it but it's totally difficult for me to make him understand what i'm doing and what i really want to do but whenever i just try to make my mom understand that these are my future plans and uh, i really want to do it and uh, maybe i will uh, achieve it i am just giving my efforts towards it and my mom can understand it easily but it is quite difficult to make my dad understand that how i want to do it and what kind of uh, what kind of need i really want from you so it's it's difficult for me yes yes you are right it it happens in most of the cases even i can say my uh, like my mother and father both and my i know that my father is very understanding and uh, whatever things i will tell him so he can understand easily for example i have to go out also so if i'll ask so uh, he will never deny me but still i will ask to my mom because I, some somehow i am fearing uh, afraiding asking to my uh, like father <laughs> so that's why yeah it happens but i think uh, 
we should do this kind of communication with our parents and grandparents so that they can also understand according to us for example now we are advancing in technology side also like we, uh, we mostly use mobile phones and uh, like the laptop and all so sometimes they don't understand uh, each and everything so they say like uh, you are just wasting your time on uh, like social media and all but somewhere uh, it is uh, beneficial for us also uh, like we are using for example i am using this skype or uh, like this social media just for uh, my enhancement my communication skills so it is a uh, beneficial for me so i think i should make them understand also like yes this is the advantage of this thing uh, so this is how we can try to bridge the gap <laughs> but not sure we can do or yeah, not yeah. <laughs> yeah if we talk about um, like using uh, any kind of technology as it so we should make them understand because it is uh, really helping the current generation who are i um, mean just doing their work on the uh, laptop or some kind of uh, i mean gadget so it is really important to understand them because see nowadays mostly students who are studying or working somewhere they are not going to work in the office or not going to take classes in the institute what they are doing they are if they are studying they are taking classes from uh, certain kind of applications just like online and if you mm. talk about work they are working on their desktop or laptop something like that so we should make them understand it is being part of our profession life because by using some kind of gadget people are earning lot amount of money so it is really helping to uh, make the future yes but sometimes we should also understand uh, our parents too because for example if you are using your mobile phone every time and yeah we know that uh, yeah it is required for our uh, uh, what can i say for career and uh, for our uh, benef- benefit also but still we, somewhere we are wasting our time on social media applications uh, i i read one news actually uh, like some of uh, there was a boy and a girl uh, and they they filed a complaint against their parents that uh, they, their parents is not allowing them to use mobile phone so <laughs> i was just thinking that uh, why they have done this thing or maybe their it is a call from their parents side or maybe their kid side so i don't know the exact thing but i think they should both have the mutual understanding about the things so that um, we can go further yeah yeah you know the problem is that nowadays people are making their profession in the different way as like we can see on the instagram people are just dancing and making some kind of chapri reel and they just want to see in those kind of reels they just making it profession i don't think so this is going to help them that might be the reason parents are not believing at the kid like what he is doing is he being on the right platform or what so that's why they want to make their kid secure that he doesn't do any such kind of mistakes or just wasting his time while using certain kind of applications on the mobile phone so that that is also one of the biggest reason uh, parents doesn't allow to use much mobile because whenever we are using mobile phone so definitely our mom is going to say bad jai si phone mein or something like that i i heard it most of the time so it is quite familiar for me but you know what as you mentioned that uh, um, mobile phone is being also one of the distracted object nowadays people are just using for time pass um we have to understand that what we are doing and what we have to do in our life so then we have to just make the foundation how much time i have to give for uh, mobile phone and what kind of work i really want to do so then then we can just avoid mobile phone we can't use any kind of distractive uh, applications to waste our time yes yes you are right it up to us i would say uh, mm-hmm. like how we have to use it like we are also using uh, like i am also using mobile phone and laptop for whole day because 8 to 9 hours i have to work in front of laptop and then after that i am using uh, like my youtube so i have to edit and i have to upload videos so my whole day uh, goes in this way only so i know that what i am doing and i am not wasting my time on some other stuff uh, like that is disadvantage for me 
but yeah sometimes it is good that i just watch for uh, entertainment purpose too because yeah sometimes we get bored while doing our work work and work stuff so that's why mm-hmm. but yeah it up to us that how we have to use it exactly we have to maintain our timing like in which time i have to do work and whenever i am free so we have to make the foundation i'm just going to use my, my mobile phone for 15 minutes just for fun and after then i will stop scrolling and i will do something else hmm. yes i guess i we have covered most of the things like related to the topic yes uh, even i haven't prepared anything that what i will discuss on this but but it came in my mind that we can discuss on this yeah 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 it's good thing that uh, you told me at the starting you are also running youtube channel mm-hmm. so uh the, are you doing this kind of activities just for fun or you want to take it as a professional no no i am work, already working in it company so it's my profession but it is a secondary part for me so that i am doing it uh, for fun you can say and utilizing my free time in this way okay that's great okay. Uh, i saw lots of student they feel panning that i'm studying programmer vocabulary still i'm not improving i'm, I'm like bro if you really want to learn english language first of all you have to remove the mindset you should learn grammar you should uh, just ram the bunch of vocabulary work you have to learn you have to do study for vocabulary grammar but don't be panic that you are not improving how much time it is it is going to take to be fluent so just enjoy the process if you really like to speak an english language just enjoy it to make conversation with people don't yeah. worry about your when you're going to be fluent and when you speak uh, like fluently yes sometimes uh, some people get distracted by watching other people like uh, they are speaking so well and why i am not improving <laughs> like this so if uh, like all the people have the, their different journey even i am not bothering because i am speaking for very long time and i know that uh, i haven't improved that much as i expecting but i know that uh, how much efforts i am putting because i know that i am not spending more time for this but yes i am enjoying that yes i am learning this every day i am trying to learn anything new from the other people to sometime vocab sometime idiom so that is enough for me so i am not bothering that that much mm-hmm. exactly the same situation is happening uh with me because i don't know exactly uh what is my level i'm beginner or intermediate or what last time when i was coming from delhi so i met with two guy they were from russia and they were just trying to speak with people but uh in that uh, apartment people were not able to speak in english language and i just started making conversation with them and i was like if i'm going to make mistakes so who's going to identify they are not going to judge me so i just started talking with them i was really enjoying that and then suddenly he asked to me bro what's your level uh, how long have you been studying for english i was like i don't know exactly what's my level and how long it has taken to me to learn english language because i started it for fun uh, i was so curious to talk with people because at the starting time i had a few friends from uh, out of india so i used to make conversation with them so i just learned by this way and um, now i'm able to speak a little bit and i can understand i can make the conversation with people so i'm really enjoying the the way what i'm doing okay okay then i think we can wrap up this session yeah sure it has taken almost uh, 27 minutes okay okay thank you so much for your time and yeah it was really a nice conversation with you it's my pleasure I don't think.